Welcome to our episode on the top things to do in Izmir. My name is Duygu, I'm a travel blogger from Turkey and in this video I compile my top recommendations from Izmir. It's one of my favorite cities in the country but it's also one of the hardest ones to explain because it offers pretty much everything. Food to history, summer escapes to culture, you name it you'll find it here. I tried to squeeze everything into one video and here are my recommendations. Izmir is a great spot for summer vacation because it offers so many mesmerizing swimming opportunities. By so many, I mean a shoreline that stretches over 600 kilometers, which means you'll be able to find some amazing beaches and beach clubs. One of Turkey's most popular historical wonders is in Izmir, the ancient city of Ephesus. Ephesus is also a world heritage site and it is thought to be one of the best preserved Greco-Roman cities in the world. So it is both a visually pleasing and historically interesting experience. The house of Virgin Mary is also here and she is thought to have spent her last days in this house. With its beautiful beaches, Çeşme is the most popular summer spot in the city. It is also the home of the very famous town of Alaçatı, which I consider to be the ultimate place to spoil yourself because there are so many nice boutique hotels and restaurants, great food, many designer shops and great nightlife. Wines has been an important asset of Izmir for centuries and the tradition actually peaked in the last few years thanks to the opening of some award-winning boutique winners. They only produce a few thousands of bottles per year and there's also this wine route where you can just follow the road signs to visit the vineyards. has been a melting pot of cultures and you can actually taste that in the food. It carries many influences from all the different communities that lived here, so it is considered to be the pinnacle of the Asian cuisine, which means many vegetable dishes cooked in olive oil and some great seafood. You will also find a big variety of street food. Alacatı Surf Zone is considered to be one of the best places in the world for windsurfing because while we have a lot of wind, our seas remain flat, which is actually a quite tough combination to get. There are also several kite locations around Izmir and you can find plenty of schools if you want to take classes or rent equipment. Turkey's 
third biggest metropolis, but it evolved quite differently than the others thanks to its multicultural background and its relationship with the sea. So when you come downtown, you'll find this very busy but also quite relaxing city center. It offers both the benefits of a big city such as great food, shopping and accommodation, but also some touristic attractions. One of your top priorities should be the historical center. Star was Turkey's first love city and its historical center Sajik is an especially pleasant place to visit with its beautiful renovated houses and every Saturday there's a producer's market. You must stop by Bergama, where so many milestones were put in the human history. It's the home of the ancient city of Pergamon, which is a World Heritage Site. And while you're here, don't forget to check out Asclepin, which was one of the most important healing centers back then. The ultimate way to pump some adrenaline is to throw yourself off a plane from 4,000 meters. If that sounds like something you would like to try, there is a skydiving center near Ephesus in Selçuk. Sajuk's cute mountain village called Shirinje became extremely popular with the rumors that it would be one of the only two survivors of the mine apocalypse. Of course the apocalypse didn't happen and thank god for that, but its popularity still continues to rise because it's one of the most picturesque places that you will see in Izmir. It also has many cute little boutique hotels if you want to spend the night. National Fair is the city's biggest arts and culture and trade event. It happens towards the end of every summer and the whole thing feels like a big festival so I would definitely recommend checking out when it's scheduled for before getting here. much for watching i hope this information was useful this was a brief introduction on the top things to do in izmir but if you go to our channel there you will be able to find videos that go into further detail on almost every subject that was mentioned in the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode Bye.